Hello everybody and welcome to another top 5 records video. Today I'm going to be talking about my top 5 finds in the month of May. And this video is uh, coincidentally an ode to finding some beautiful versions of albums in the most uh, odd places. Because that's one of the beauties of collecting vinyl. You can find the most beautiful albums, the most beautiful pressings, the most odd gems sometimes in strange places. And I'm gonna start off with this one. I found the album Funkadelic, One Nation Under a Groove. Getting down for the funk of it. It reads uh, uh, below the line on the back. Uh, a beautiful album. I mean, I love Funkadelic. And it's not easy to find original US Funkadelic pressings or parliament pressings in the Netherlands. I'm not sure how this can be. Um, also, the, uh, the amount of reissues or audiophile issues of, of Funkadelic, it's, it's, it just doesn't seem to be out there. I mean, they, they just don't seem to, to pop up. And if you get a reissue, you just don't want any reissue. You want it to sound full and funky, you know. And these original US pressings do that. And I found this one for about 20, 25 bucks, I believe, um, in Deventer. Deventer is a rather small old city in the east of the Netherlands. Um, it is beautiful. It's a beautiful city. Uh, if you ever visit the Netherlands and you're a final collector, be sure to go there because you might not expect it to be a vinyl Valhalla, but there are four or five vinyl shops just in one street around the corner of each other. And it's a beautiful city. It's a beautiful place to go for vinyl hunting. And um, you might come across something like this rare, rare gem. I found this on Mother's Day, just when I left the train before I would continue my travel to family. And um, I mean, something like this, it just makes my day, you know. Now, another oddity. And I found that even more east in the Netherlands in a second-hand shop. Tracy Chapman. This album by Tracy Chapman is gorgeous. I mean, it's such a beautiful collection of songs and she has such powerful lyrics, a powerful voice, beautiful sound. And this album, this is a German pressing, in very good state, I, I'd even almost near mint minus. Um, it's not that easy to find. You come across one every once in a while, but usually you pay about 30, 40 or 50 bucks for it. Now, I found this in a second hand shop in Tebergen, which I, I couldn't even try to pronounce it in English. Uh, I found it for one euro 50. Now, again, that made my day and I put this up. I, I, I've listened to it since for three, four, no, five times. It's just a beautiful, beautiful collection of songs. People recognize songs on here. Uh, it's very, very nice. I'm very happy to have found it. Another odd purchase, and all of the next three are odd uh, uh, purchases I was hunting after, and I found them in Delft in the Netherlands. First of all, I found a First UK pressing of Queen One. Now, let me make clear how odd it is to find this album in a first UK pressing. I've been looking for this one, a first UK, for years. I've been searching in cities for like Brussels, uh, Munich, uh, Berlin. I've been searching for about, I've, I've been in 70% of the, the, the final stores in London. I've uh, uh, been looking for it in Nottingham, in Birmingham. I could never find a first UK pressing of Queen. Now, I go to Delft with a friend, with a friend of mine. In two different stores, I find one UK first pressing and a friend of mine finds another one in another store. Tell me how is it possible. And this is a near mint one. Seriously, it's near mint. It looks like it's unplayed. And it's the Blair Scott. And Blair is an awesome, awesome mixer. Master, master, not a mixer, master. Beautiful, it sounds amazing. Now, this is also one I found in, uh, in Delft on the number two list. 
Bert Jans. This is the first album and the first UK pressing by Bert Jans. And this is this is a folk record, and I'm, I'm not sure if you're familiar with it. It's it's he has this beautiful, beautiful song. He is um, he was a great inspiration to Nick Drake, I believe. And um, uh, mid '60s, when um, the British folk scene didn't have a face yet he started to pop up as the face of British folk music and I've, I've had, I had never seen this album anywhere and it's 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 quite expensive but I believe I paid about 30 uh, 30 bucks for it which is not a lot of money for a first UK of this I mean it has the nice flip <laughs> fold you know awesome album by the way it's so warm it's so full a little bit dark, but not too dark. It doesn't depress. Now, on the number one spot, also, um, um, also, a an album I found in, in Delft is a first UK pressing of the Buscocks. And this album is awesome punk. And I've been looking for it quite some time. Uh, also, and this is the most amazing sounding pressing. It's also near mint. I mean, where do you find uh, uh, near mint versions? Uh, near mint minus. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna uh, near mint minus. Uh, but where do you find uh, uh, punk albums in good uh, in good quality? It's tough to find because people who played punk in the 70s were mostly uh, teenagers who just threw around with their records. So I'm very happy to have this, and it's awesome. It's very melodic. It's very good. An awesome band, awesome album, and on the number one spot of my top five founds from May. Well, um, I'm curious, what did you find last month? Uh, please leave a comment below and see you in the next video. Bye.